hi it's Sarah Jane with your Wellness Wednesday I'm gonna try something a little different today and take you on a little snippet or a taster of how you can use self-hypnosis to deepen into trust because this is a pattern that that I've seen coming up over and over again today um, in a lot of projection as well and and a lot of anger that's that's showing up in um, many of the people's lives that I've been speaking to hi telling hi Pranilla I'm gonna try not to distract myself so that I can get into this but I really want to look at you know how can we create more trust and compassion and more space for ourselves to look at where we're growing into our lives and and just to to deepen into trusting that we've got this in uh, in a time where we've been taught that by accumulating things and ideas and possessions and knowledge outside of ourselves in the experience that somehow we're going to find completion. Hi, Alexandra. But in reality, you know, I, I really believe that that true vibrancy, that that fulfilled living, comes from from being open and emptying out so that we can receive and really deepen into trust by cramming as as much as possible into our every sort of walking waking moment filling our senses with an endless barrage and let's face it with the, there's so much overstimulation and distraction out there in the world that we bury the greatest treasure of our existence which is our trust in ourself without trust in ourselves we can't trust other people hello Grant nice to see you here so I wanted to to ask you, and you can type this in the comments if this resonates with you, if this is something that you'd like um, like to receive, to just be open into it because deep down beneath all these ideas and all this programming that we're all unlearning, um, you know, we're all human. I'm human. We make mistakes. We 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 try things out and then we realize that maybe that isn't in alignment with our true nature and and we go into doubt I do too you know none of us are immune to the daily distractions and also the very high expectations that we put on ourselves a lot which takes us out of that beautiful flow of ease and grace and peace of mind most of all of what I call love consciousness and it has it's always been there for all of us we're born into love we're born through love love comes through us and I always say we you know love you love what you love not what loves you um, you know it's just such an energetic vibrational frequency of of trusting that you're exactly where you need to be and sometimes when we are holding on to the old things that we think create safety for us, when we're holding on to things that um, take us out of our own game and back onto the spectator seat, you can see my puppy wandering around here, we lose sight of what's been there all the time. And we, when we allow ourselves to trust, then that's where we really start to rediscover that, that we are our most, our deepest treasure and yet we're not treasuring ourselves, we're not valuing ourselves in that. And we cling to these structures that are familiar to us because they, because we've been programmed or, or taught or, or trained to think that they define who we are. And I remember when I, when my life, I used to say my life fell, my life fell into a million tiny little pieces 16 years ago when I, when I lost everything that I knew my life was everything I built and grown into my definition of success, my definition of um, what makes me happy and fulfilled, that there was, there was nothing left except to really go down and, and deepen into this work. <laughs> yes, says Pranilla. Hi, Alison. Nice to see you here. So even, you know, even when things are familiar, um, you know, I was speaking to a woman last night about this again, and she said, like, I'm, I've, I'm so tired of the pain. I'm so tired of being stuck in this thing, of putting my trust outside. And I said, yes, what if you could just return that? Come back to trust and know that you've got this, and then look for, look for who is available and what energy and what information and what support do I need that's going to grow me into this this person that I want to be that is beyond pain and beyond the identity of all the the reasons and justifications why we think we we won't know ourselves without the pain so even this is the crazy thing about being human that I've found is that even though we know that it's not in our highest greatest good 
it's very difficult to break those old patterns and pathways, which is where the nervous system comes into it. Because even if things are making us miserable, because we don't know what's possible for us or available to us, because we've been living for that for so long, we, we fear that we're going to lose our identity in that without the belief systems or the stories or the political affiliations or the preferences um, or our very personality of who will we be if, we, if we're no longer attached to the things that, that are not growing us, they're actually contracting us. And um, you know, I think these ideas about the world, and maybe you agree, and, the, and our place in it, is, is that, that it gives us a sense of, of control. Hi, Anna. I'm so lucky I get it, you get a double dose of me today. Um, but, you know, has this illusion of control or you happiness so far? Because the only thing that we really have control over is how we're responding to life. And for the overwhelming majority of us, the answer is always no, because we've given our power away to something outside of us. And if we want to have a new version of life, isn't it going to be a lot more easy, not always necessarily simple, but easy in in not in moving away from disease, which is just the opposite of easy, and let go of all the opinions and the ideas and the belief systems that are very rigid in, in their very being and, and stop clinging to it. Because that's when we stagnate, that's when we go into resistance to change, that's when we project our anger and our and that life is, is not, not with us, against ourselves. And and we, we, we close up, we create heart walls and we close ourselves and we separate out when the very thing that we want is actually the connection. And to me the evolution of our very nature is in returning to trust, in our in our appreciation of of loving, loving what is, and also loving, loving what drives evolution. You know, evolving out loud for me, if you just swap the words around, is that I, in the me, love myself enough to grow and make mistakes and screw up, and and without change, that you can't grow. Um, the, that lack of resistance to change is the death, and our ego thinks that that's the death of the old story, that somehow we we will be less than or. Um, not in control if we let go of that so that's really my invitation for you today is to is to move into trust and i'm going to take you through a, hip, um, a hypnosis as i said now and if you can't do this if you're driving if you're at work and you can't can't go through this with me now know that the replay will be up and and I just invite you to just play experiment with it life is one big messy experiment it's supposed to be an adventure and yet the very things that we know are going to bring us joy are often the things that we're terrified of um, so say yes give yourself permission if you had to write yourself a permission slip today what would you put on it what would you say yes to to the universe what would you say yes to that's going to get you to fall back in love with your present reality regardless of what other people are choosing you know that is that is the whole thing around self-mastery for me is that is is loving myself in my life exactly as it is and always looking for how can I expand out and hold space for the parts of me that are growing into that make sense all right so you're ready um, <laughs> because um, I want you to just just feel yourself on the floor get yourself in in a, comf a comfortable position and just look at what's going on with trust for you. Where you, can you trust yourself? Where can you trust in life? Where can you trust that everything is happening for you? That you're trusting into that these are the lessons that, that you are asking for and that you can move forward and have a better life. Sound good? All right, so nice and juicy. So at the end, what I'll do is I'll count you down even deeper so that those of you that are able to stay in this or you can close your office door and just stay in this a little bit longer just stay in this meditative state for for longer and if you need to get back to work or back to your business just count yourself backward from one to ten at the end if you'd like or just take a moment or two to just breathe deeper and open your eyes and you'll be good to go but I always like to count down at the end if I can because it just gives you more options all right sound good all right okay so I'm excited because I haven't I haven't done this um, publicly like this on a Facebook live before so I want you to um, 
actually you won't be able to let me know what you end on but what I want you to do right now is just to just scan your body scan your body and then on on a level of 0 to 10 10 being totally aligned and in flow with your life and 0 being um, perfectly aligned just give yourself a rate and at the end of this you can just check in with yourself and and see if your if your numbers come down okay so just take a nice deep breath in and a letting go breath and you can close your eyes as you do this just go ahead and repeat in your mind off to me I am safe I am calm I choose to be here I am safe I am calm I choose to be here I am safe I am calm I choose to be here good and now taking another nice deep letting go breath go ahead and relax the top of your head relax your forehead smoothing out any creases any worry or concern that you're holding there and just now go ahead and relax the tiny muscles around your eyes relax your jaw letting it hang loose and slack it's a place we hold a lot of tension in the TMJs so relax your shoulders and your neck and now relax your arms all the way through to the fingertips. Relax your torso, breathing in easily, breathing in life, breathing in trust and releasing any tension or worry from your stomach, from your solar plexus, allowing your diaphragm to just expand and contract and now Relax your legs, allowing all that tension to expand and release right down to the bottom of your feet and taking another nice deep letting go breath. And when I count down now from three to one and snap my fingers, you're going to find yourself standing at the top of a beautiful staircase. And the staircase is very strong and safe. It's made of wood. It's outdoors. There's a little bit of moss growing on the damp spots of this beautiful wooden staircase. The handrail is smooth and sturdy. And at the bottom of the staircase awaits this gorgeous, luscious garden. A safe garden, a magical garden that's absolutely perfect for you. And with each and every single decreasing number that I say, you're going to take a step down on that beautiful wooden staircase. And it's so safe, so inviting, so nurturing. So you start making your, your way down the staircase into this beautiful, lush, vibrant living garden. Ten, taking your first step down now, doubling down into your relaxation, letting go of any tension in your body, nine, another step down, and the deeper you go, the better you feel, eight, going deeper, deeper into your relaxation, into your state, total joy and bliss. Eight, another step down, doubling into your relaxation, letting go of any tension, 
Seven all the way down now. Keep going. You're doing great. Six already breathing in the pleasant smells of that magical lush garden. The fresh air, the sound of the birds. Six really letting go now because you know that the more you let go, the more you're able to access that part of you for a lasting transformation that is only possible when you totally embrace and trust yourself. Five, going deeper. Four, keep going all the way down now. Three, almost there now, almost in the garden. Two, and one. Be there now inside your magical garden, inside your safe place. And if you'd like to, go ahead and slip off any shoes that you might have had on in your mind's eye. Feel the breeze on your forehead and feel your feet really connecting in to Mother Earth as you step down deeper into the magic garden. Feel any fresh earth, grass, moss beneath your feet, beneath your toes, only if it makes you feel good. <laughs> As you do so now, as you connect to Mother Earth, you feel yourself becoming very, very grounded. And any outside sounds, just let them contribute to this and any tension, let it just drain away down your central cord, down your legs, into your feet and down into Mother Earth because she can ground down any erratic energy instantly, transforming it into something positive and beautiful. And now we're gonna breathe together. And as you exhale, you're gonna send any of this erratic, negative energy, any worries, any anxiety, any tension, down, down, down your body, out the bottom of your feet down into the great central core of Mother Earth. So you're all together now. Breathe in, exhale. Sending any of that energy that you no longer require back down to Mother Earth for recycling. And just breathing in normally for one or two breaths right now. Getting ready to inhale. And exhale. Sending those energies out through the bottom of your feet down to the center of the earth. Breathing easily and effortlessly, breathing normally. And we're going to do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Excellent. You're doing great. And now notice how you're already feeling lighter, more calm, more confident, happier, more balanced as you move deeper into your beautiful magical garden. And you find that your garden is filled with your favorite kind of trees. So move forward towards your favorite kind of tree or your flowers. Maybe it's a weeping willow. Maybe it's a beautiful big acacia tree like I'm leaning against. Maybe it's a redwood, whatever that tree is for you. Move forward toward it and place your palms on the trunk of the tree now. And just feel how that bark feels beneath your hands, beneath your fingertips. Just become aware of the fact that that tree is alive and whispering to you. And if you have any animals that come with you now, notice them, welcome them in. 
Feel the energy beneath your palms and just notice how your energy shifts as you connect with another living being that is vibrant and aligned and totally in allowance of meeting you where you are. And you can say to that tree or your dog or that plant, it is so wonderful to meet you. I bet you have some wonderful stories to share with me. Stories of birds making their homes in the bridges of the tree, animals that nibble on the leaves, giraffes love the tender leaves of acacia trees, and the stories of what these beautiful trees have endured, the, the rain that has moistened their leaves and the story of the roots going deeper and deeper and deeper over time reaching and stretching and connecting with the other trees that hold this beautiful garden together of branches that fall the story of leaves blossoming and growing so many beautiful stories and now I want you to go ahead and gently turn around and slide down, taking a seat on the earth, resting your back up against that tree. And look out on the vista of your beautiful garden, noticing some details. Breathe in the pleasant smells of the earth, of your safe garden the garden of your dreams and noticing the fresh air the smells of flowers that carry on the breeze noticing the colors of your safe magical garden and if you'd like you can go ahead now and turn up the frequency of these colors that you see make them twice as bright twice as bold twice as vibrant if you hear birds or critters in your garden listen to them now tune in to them maybe there's a babbling brook going through it maybe there are birds singing maybe there are little insects or lizards or bunnies gnawing on leaves in the distance Maybe there is a wind that is moving the leaves on the branches of your tree. So hear those sounds now and let them calm you. Let them lull you into an even deeper, more relaxed space. Even deeper now, three. Even deeper, two. All the way down. And one, going deeper. And now you can just reach out and touch something there. Maybe you want to dig your fingers into some beautiful deep moss or roots or sand. Maybe you want to pick up a twig or a stone or a nearby piece of ivy or a flower. Go ahead and allow yourself to receive that now and when I count down now from three to one snap my fingers a wonderful benevolent being is going to join you in your magical garden because this is your garden and you can bring in anything that is loving and benevolent to your space now and this being is going to be the personification of trust for you or truth for you and perhaps it'll appear like an angel Perhaps trust and truth will appear to be the wise woman within you or the higher version of yourself or your guide, somebody that you perhaps really admire. And this could be someone living or dead. So however trust and truth appears to you now, you're going to go ahead and have a conversation with that now. So three, going even deeper, two, trusting whatever comes, and one, trust in truth appears before you now. Hmm, just notice how it feels to have trust come through to you now and speak its truth to you. And notice some details about truth and trust as your guides. 
How does it feel to be in their presence right now? And then you can repeat out loud or off to me, off to me and say, truth, thank you for being here. Trust, thank you for being here because I know I need to trust in myself more and to honor and listen to my truth. I really need to deepen into trusting that the universe has my back right now. So I need you, trust, to tell me the truth about what it is that I'm going through right now about what I am experiencing in my body so that I can trust that in my life so that I can trust myself. And take a deep breath and while I'm silent, just allow your truth to respond to you now. And you may have a question for trust right now or your truth so go ahead and ask that question now and be open and willing to receive whatever arrives there as an expansion of consciousness for you I want you to go ahead and have gratitude and thanks for truth and trust to sharing that wisdom with you and then out loud or in your mind just say truth if there if you have something that you can give me to deepen into my subconscious knowing and being and receiving so that I can trust myself more so that I can trust the process that is available to me now so that I can trust life, so that I can trust other people, I would like to receive that now. So go ahead and receive that gift now from truth. And it might be an object, it could be a word or a feeling or a deep knowing. Just allow yourself to receive that now. Now going even deeper, three, doubling your relaxation again, two, all the way down, and one. And now truth is going to come and sit next to you, leaning up against this tree with you. And the two of you are going to continue to look out on this magic garden because you now have this gift that truth gave you so that you can deepen into trust even more. So when I count down to three, two, one, and snap my fingers, you're going to see a hologram, a projection of yourself in the future. Your high, wise woman, yourself five minutes from now, yourself one hour from now, one month from now, one year from now. That hologram is going to proceed throughout time so that you can see just how much you are able to trust yourself now, to trust the process, to trust the lessons that life is sending you. So three, going even deeper, two, trusting what comes, and one, see, feel, experience, and be that now. That hologram, that projection, that movie, see, feel, and experience yourself trusting yourself more, deepening into trusting life more, trusting into your process and trusting the lessons that are given to you and just watch that play out in this projector of your mind in the future as the future you. Excellent. 
Give yourself a few more moments to just be the space of receiving anything that is available to you to, to now access and integrate and transmute and receive as trust in your cells on your divine blueprint. Excellent. And in every day, in every way, you are learning to trust yourself more and more. Every day, in every way, you are able to trust the lessons you learn more and more. And every day, in every way, your self-confidence is increasing because you trust yourself more and you trust in life more. So feel your confidence, your clarity, your love expand and increase for you now. Feel your self-confidence, your self-love, your ability to trust increasing now and just repeat in your mind after me. I trust myself completely. I trust myself. I trust myself and the lessons the universe is sending me that they are for my highest and greatest good. I trust the lessons the universe is sending me are for my highest and greatest good and the good of all those that I am showing up and serving. I trust the lessons the universe is sending me are for my highest and greatest good. I believe in myself. And repeat this out loud. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Excellent. So now I want you to take one more close gift, that gift that truth gave you, and know that this is going to be an anchor that you can use to call upon, to claim your stake, to leverage this tool and this learning of whatever it is in order to feel more trust for yourself in any given time. Very good. And in just a moment, I'm going to count you down. And with each and every single decreasing number, you're going to go deeper and deeper into this wonderful, relaxed state, feeling grounded, feeling confident, feeling faith and trust and grace that all is well and all is good. And you are open and receiving the lessons that are available to you now to move through quickly and open up more space into peace, into love, into calm, into trust, and into joy. And when I reach the final number, this live session will end and you know that you can continue to relax with your eyes closed for as long as you like, for as long as it feels good. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes in this confidence, in this fulfilled, grounded feeling that is tray, faith and truth and trust that's gonna stay with you. And then when you have a free moment, please come back and in the comments, share your experience and share what you have learned from this session. Share what your gift is share what you have learned from truth and just allow yourself to gently, compassionately share your lessons so that you can inspire others to receive and deepen into trust and honor the truth in a kind and compassionate way. So 10, going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Nine, going deeper, feeling more relaxed, feeling all your troubles fade away. Eight, feeling grounded into Mother Earth, nurturing and filling up your cells with this beautiful divine light of trust and truth that is your energetic blueprint. Seven, going deeper and deeper into the space of trust, of confidence, of calm, clear, clarity on your purpose, in your mission, in your vibrancy, in your health. 
Six going deeper. Deeper into trust, deeper into truth, deeper into confidence. Five, letting go of any tension, any residual influences that your cells are still holding on to, releasing them from your tissues now. Four, going even deeper, deeper into trust, deeper into truth, deeper into grace. Feeling more and more space in your body, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. Three, going deeper, deeper, deeper. Two, totally alive, totally connected into your truth, into trust, into honest, open expansiveness of no thing and everything that is available to you. One deeper grounding into your truth, honoring the trust, honoring the journey, honoring life, deeper and deeper. Good. Good. And just allow yourself to stay in this place, stay in this moment, opening up into that zero point field of consciousness and space, feeling yourself being supported. And I'm going to leave you there. When you awake, when you are ready, you can open your eyes and you will be full, fulfilled. You'll feel vibrant. You'll feel filled up. You'll feel energetic. You'll feel alive and on purpose. So just allow yourself to stay there. And as I said, when you're ready, please comment in the, quest, in the post below. And let us, let us receive your gifts from your sacred garden from your intuitive knowing, your wise woman. And so it is, a home.